Welcome to HyperCycle, the evolution of artificial intelligence. HyperCycle is a dynamic artificial intelligence software company that has developed in the blockchain world a layer zero protocol that will revolutionize the ability for AI agents to communicate with other AI agents, not just to facilitate the transfer of workloads in computational demand and execution, but the fulfillment of payment within the same nanosecond that it happens. I'm talking about instant finality, not waiting till the block is made finality, but instant nanosecond finality of the economy within that transaction. This is revolutionary stuff. Obviously, I am not going to be able to present a academic class on HyperCycle tonight, but I do want to encourage each and every one of you to visit our website at HyperCycle.ai and learn more. What I'm here to present to you tonight is an incredible opportunity for anyone who decides to take it to the next level, and that is HyperPG. HyperPG is a joint venture between HyperCycle, the company Penguin, and the country Paraguay to utilize hydroelectric resources to power data centers that are providing AI computation to the free open market of the internet. This is revolutionary in that this partnership not only is providing economy, commerce, entrepreneurship, but the educational element with the universities and government funded educational programs from Paraguay with data science courses, IT management, even hardware development and implementation. Then all of the software stuff that comes from our side, obviously the internet of AI provided by HyperCycle. This is a unique opportunity for all Latin American countries to follow this model to join the technological economy that's all coming. If you're like me, you've probably sat and thought to yourself, hmm, what is really going to be driving economies where I live? Costa Rica has done a very good job compared to other Latin American countries in the past of bringing tourism. You have such a beautiful country, of course people want to come and visit it. But those agricultural products are not going to drive your economy for the next 20 years. Matter of fact, it's going to only be growth industries that will allow us to escape velocity beyond the wreckage that monetary policy is creating. Now, I could do a whole financial literacy talk on monetary, monetary policy, the, the, the demons that are inflation and the way governments deal with our currencies. Let's not do that. Let's be optimistic and positive and talk about what we can do to escape that so that we're not prisoners of that. And that is to adjoin with those folks like us in HyperCycle who believe that computation is the commodity of the next hundred years. That it's going to be that beautiful recipe of electricity running through hardware, running software that's going to create value. Now we believe AI is going to take a tremendous amount of that computational demand. Costa Rica, my message to you, our message to you, is to open your doors to the digital world. Open your doors to becoming a tech hub innovation, education, private-public partnerships like we're going to demonstrate here tonight with HyperPG are just one way in which to do that. Enjoy the film and enjoy the rest of the presentation. Pura Vida and muchas gracias. The ability to have one single AI talk to another AI, this is analogous to how our neurons, they talk to each other. The Internet of AI is here. But is there a missing element ahead of the curve? The next step is be the front runner in the race of AI. And is renewable energy a part of the solution? So Paraguay sits on one of the biggest treasures that humanity currently has, a lot of electricity. Deep 
in the heart of South America, in a small but literally powerful country by the name of Paraguay, lies the Itaipu Hydroelectric Power Station. The excess of electricity generated can once and for all elevate the local economy by providing AI computation that partakes in this new internet of artificial intelligence. That's why we're here in Paraguay, because uh, what we uh, are offering through HyperCycle is fantastic for the country, and also Paraguay can offer a lot of advantages for artificial intelligence in tomorrow's world. Penguin Digital, in collaboration with HyperCycle.ai, presents HyperPG, powering the AI revolution. <laughs> Created by One Day Productions. Artificial intelligence will continue to evolve with or without our effort, but the race for AI is not just about ideas, it's about power. The power to process massive amounts of data, securing the interactions between its smallest components will lead to an unprecedented emergence of intelligence. The decentralized nature of this emergence can give us all the ability to partake in this new internet of AI. Welcome to HyperCycle, the revolution of decentralized AI and hypercomputing, realizing the benefits of converting electricity into intelligence. In the history of Homo sapien, we evolved and we got to the point where we governed this planet not because of our individual power, it's because of our cooperative. Now when you look at AI, they're not cooperative, they work in silos. In order to enable AI to subcontract AI in a sub-second, it needs a certain element in technology that we happen to provide with HyperCycle, and this is how we got together with this fabulous uh, client that is called Penguin. We're here in this Penguin house. The beauty about what they're doing is that they use a lot of the proceeds to educate people in programming and so on and so forth, and they have about 400, 500 students. This is how Penguin, a front-running computing center and software solutions provider in Paraguay, became one of the main ingredients utilizing HyperCycle to monetize this effort and benefit the local economy while servicing the world with this collaborative AI computation opportunity. I came for the first time to Paraguay around two years ago in 2021. One of my very good friends, the initial founder of Penguin, uh, Mr. Björn Schmidtke, he brought me here and asked me whether it would make sense to build data centers here in Paraguay to fund the Penguin Academy boot camps, so our teaching activities, so to actually have an impact on the country by using one of the most important resources in Paraguay, by using the electricity. But it's been a great adventure so far, a great journey, and we really hope to make a difference today and in the future with what Penguin is doing here in Paraguay, transforming energy into human potential. I started from the bottom and I became head of house operations at Penguin House. The most beautiful thing about Penguin and are the people, all the community, we all work together, you know, to, to keep growing, not as individuals, but uh, as a group, more of like the family and the community. At one point, we realized that Paraguay has one of the world wonders, Itaipu, where we are right now. And Itaipu is the biggest generator in the world by production. It is 14 gigawatts. That is basically 20 times the electricity you need to fuel Paris. For 50 years, Paraguay has Itaipu and it has not used its electricity. And of course, we as tech people, we thought, let's make use of the electricity, let's build data centers, and let's make Paraguay the digital hub of Latin America. The bottom uh, line with this is that folks are able to utilize that uh, power that they have to run those AI computers. And because AI demand continues to be higher than the supply, 
the chances are for this to be profitable were extremely high. Tufi Saliba, the author of Tota IP, an internet protocol built from the ground up to transmit value with zero third-party dependency, was invited to partake in this project and has elected to make it his main focus as it naturally falls into the evolution of the next step. The reason why I was asked to lead the project Hypercycle it was one of renowned AI scientists, his name is Ben Gortzell. Many people in the AI industry, they know who Ben Gortzell is. He's author of 25 books and a lot of papers on the topic. And uh, when it comes to AI, a lot of people, they have different opinions of what could work, what could get to AGI or whatnot. But what is common between a lot of uh, AI scientists is that if you were to run AI, you need to do it in a way with the least amount of friction. Friction is our enemy. That's what we get rid of with Toda IP. I am the author of Toda IP. So when Ben approached me and told me that this is the time to run the singularity on uh, Toda IP, I got extremely excited and I don't only want to be involved, I wanted to run this initiative. And that's where I am. I am the CEO of Hypercycle. And uh, with that, I'm trying to converge all of the expertise that I have from like AI, cybersecurity, and uh, cryptography and try to uh, put it together. Hypercycle leverages dozens of projects, decades of R&D, the latest in cryptography, cybersecurity, and AI. This unprecedented convergence is believed to bring through the internet network the high PC packets, the missing piece we all have been waiting for to enable true P2P collaborative AI to AI at the smallest modular level. We're truly looking forward to enable anybody with a computer to operate AI. For instance, one way, to, like let's say you were participating in this, you don't want to run a node. You're, you're busy, man. You're already doing your job, and that's enough. One of the ways a company like and an institution like Hyper PG, uh, PG can help you, we come in Hyper PG and we say, hey, what we're going to do for you is we're going to provide you, let's say, a, re a reoccurring revenue on your already existing AI expenditure. So let's say you're spending $100,000 in US dollars a month on AI services through Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure or AWS, right? You keep doing that. Don't change a thing. You integrate your services that you're paying them for with HyperCycle. HyperCycle maximizes the use of those algorithms in a free decentralized open AI network and cuts you a check every month for that privilege. So you can participate in this in the network of AI without ever running a node, just by being an AI consumer, because your business uses AI and facilitates part of its spend every month on those services, you could actually supplement that by getting a reoccurring revenue stream and adding to your balance sheet, because now you've just taken on an entirely new cash flow. There's that element too. There are so many different ways to participate in the network of AI. You don't have to have a machine in your home to do this. You can take a license and some tokens, create the hyper share and point that to the cloud. You can point it to hyper PG. So if your node doesn't make money, HyperCycle does not get its 1% royalty from you. We only get it when you're acquiring revenue. So only when your license is producing revenue do we get paid. If it isn't, we don't. Hypercycle, from a competitor standpoint, we don't have any competitors because we don't view anybody as competitors. We view everybody as a client and a potential partner. Open, decentralized marketplace for AI. So if you're an AI developer, go to SingularityNet, put your AI on that free, open, decentralized marketplace and let the world find you and use your AI and get paid for it. I look at it like this. The commodity that built all of what we know today for the last 100 years was basically oil. That commodity took us from ox pulling a plow 
to a tractor. Productivity increased thousands of percent. But let me ask you this, the percentage increase from today to next year in the, in the tractor business, is it thousands of percent anymore? No. Tractor technology might get better by 1%. That's not a really a, a place I want to put my investment dollars. Let's talk about real estate, something we can all relate to. Our parents got wealthy doing that, if our parents got wealthy at all. Mine did doing that. I will tell you this, there is always something, an anchor pulling down that is a wealth creation mechanism, and it's called taxes. Taxes are going to increase and increase and increase because the governments continue to spend more than their tax receipts that they bring in. So we always know our money is going to get less valuable every year. It's going to lose value every year. And our taxes are going to go up every year because the governments around the world are not going to change the way they spend money. So we, if we want to use our thinking, we need to change the way we spend money. I am into this digital wave. I believe AI computation and computation in general is the commodity that's going to drive all wealth creation in some way, shape, or form for the next 20 years. So the, the point is, those of us who are learning these new verticals to put our dollars to work, whether it be as an investment speculatory or build a business around something that can have a revenue, there are all ways to start participating in wealth creation of this vertical of quote unquote computation that is going to be the driver of all major innovation. Yes, tractors will continue to innovate a percent per year. Airplanes might get 1% better every year. Real estate might appreciate 10 or 12% a year on a good year and even 15 to 20% if you're in a hotbed area, but then you always have to remember there is a government that may tax that a little more. There is a government that may, if you're in Nicaragua, just come in and take it. All of the methods in which we were taught as children by our grandparents for wealth creation are no longer viable. And for those of us who are sitting on a bank of cash thinking it's going to hold us the rest of our lives, you better start factoring in the fact that the cost of living is going to also increase percentages and percentages every year. And if we don't have a strategy for ongoing revenue generation, then we're going to lose the game. And that's just the truth. The system is not geared for you to prosper. There's a small group of people that will prosper and the system is geared for them. None of us are in this room today. None of those people are in this room today. Point is, the old methods of wealth creation and limited. What we're able to do digitally, thinking outside of the box, learning, understanding these new systems, these new protocols, these new methods of wealth creation, will give us opportunities to exceed all of the old models. Throw the old models out the window. Welcome to the future, because the future is today. The future is hypercycle. Thank you very much. Join the Cyberlution. Welcome to hypercycle.ai.